let's talk about the loss of love. So I, uh, I seen a couple videos or a couple um, thumbnail something. So I seen a couple somethings. <laughs> I seen some shit about um, a young man who I don't know if he's a streamer, he's on YouTube, whatever. But obviously he's popular among young people and him and his girlfriend something broke up a week ago and it looks like he may have offed himself because of the uh dismantling or or the um you know the relationship went went left and you know it's no longer and it sounds like he may have or that may have been one of the leading reasons for him to go and you know himself uh this relationship and so i believe this is important to talk about because I believe this is going to happen more in the future. We are living in a different time period. And as much as I say on this channel, I don't like to talk about women. I don't like to talk about relationships. I understand that it's very, it's very important. It's vital. In fact, it's one of the top three subjects. You know, you have relationships and love or you have um, finances and health. Those are the top three subjects that if you're talking about, you're going to get views, activity and all that other stuff. I don't like to talk about women because I have a very cold approach regarding relationships and females today because we're just in a different time period. And I understand that me speaking on what I speak on and then speaking in a manner that I do, it could bring controversy. And I ain't got time for controversy because I don't give a fuck about anybody else's opinion <clears throat> in that manner. Like, think what you want to think about love and relationships. We can talk about anything else. Love relationships, I care less. Why? Because most people that got the most to say on relationships are single. <laughs> they are fucking single. So it's like, it, it, it's just a mess. It's a mess. You got married men trying to be dating coaches. You got, I mean, it's just, it's just a bunch of hogwash right now. And it, it, it's, it's, it's detrimental. You have men who are capitalizing and women capitalizing on incels. Meaning men who can't really get the woman or get a woman or get the woman they want or whatever the case may be. You have men who are making content. Um, and even if you can get a woman, you're so caught up in this content. I, me, I was so caught up in rep. I was in a relationship. And even now I could get into a situation. But I mean, I'd rather just really work on my life and things like that. Because I know they're going to be there in one year, three years, five years, stuff like that. But even now it's like. I know I could get into something for the season and I'm just like, yo, I don't want to be bothered at all, you know, because we're just in a different time period and it's messy. It's messy all around. But for, for young men, I say you have to be very careful and I say I have to be very careful and I'm going to speak from my position. I was thinking about this subject for the last couple of days and I knew I was going to speak on it, but I didn't know when I was exactly going to do the video. I had to be honest with myself and realize that I've only really loved two women in my life outside of my mother you know my grandmother my aunt whatever my daughter i've only loved two women in my life maybe i'll throw in two and a half maybe three <laughs> but i could really firmly say two the other one she was definitely there at an essential time period when i came home from the military when i went back when i went there you know she was still around i can't say if she was doing something when i was around i mean when i was away or not maybe maybe not but when i came home she was right there flowers food she was stuck by me. She never complained about 50-50. She spent thousands on me. Like, I know, like, she loved me. She loved me, you know? And maybe I should have, you know? And who knows? Who knows? But uh, her, I, I, that was, I was still young, though. I was still young, and I didn't, I didn't understand the value of having a decent woman around, you know? And I, good is relative. <laughs> I said decent. But for, for young men, you know, it's, it's important to understand that like, we are in a different time period of relationships. I think that a lot of us, whether we realize it or not, we've been programmed with how we think relationships should be. When we, we don't understand how uh, Disney and these love movies and even R&B, you know, all these things have programmed us to think of, of love and relationships in a way that's not real. It's, it's not real at all. Um, even when we look at our parents and our grandparents situation and we think, oh, they had a, a happy, lovey, ma lovey, dovey marriage for 50 years and not just understanding like, yo, they went through it. They went through it for 50 years. They went had went through ups and downs for 50 years. She cheated. He cheated. She He had to wonder if these four kids were all his. OK, and he don't want to go down the road of maybe it, maybe it's his and maybe it isn't, you know, uh, because that'll tear the whole damn family apart, you know, and so. Trust and, trust and understand something, you are going to keep quiet on certain things. You're not going to ask certain questions because 
You put in 20, 30 years, you got two, three kids, you got a business or a house, couple houses, this, that, and the third. It's not just cheaper to keep her. It's, it, it's the piece, of, it, you know, it's a lot. There's a lot to think about. Even when I think about these these bigger couples, like think about a Jay and Beyonce, and I know the other crap that's going on between them, but look at their relationship and the brand they've built. Jay will never be as successful as he is without Beyonce. Beyonce will never be as successful as she as she is without Jay Z. And I know you dumbass bitches is gonna come here talking the bullshit. Y'all comes out your fucking mouth. Y'all y'all broke assholes. Y'all have no idea what y'all talking about. There's a reason why corporations and businesses and even politicians they like to see a husband and wife. It is the magic formula to shit. It's also why the elites are pushing these narratives of this gender war and men and women separating and not getting married because it is the cheat code. It is the foundation of life. You are a whole man. She's a whole woman. Y'all come together and make one. Y'all invest. Y'all work together. Two incomes. I mean, all these things. We know these things. And yet, people don't can't understand it and grasp it. You got women really thinking out here to maintain and, ma and maintain your household and your children is a fucking job that you should be paid a hundred grand for. You're going to do it anyway for yourself. If nobody is there and <laughs> like, I don't, and again, these simple comments, 50, 50, why are we conversing about 50, 50, a hundred, a hundred is how a relationship works. You got to give your all. We can't even get people, get people to put in 50%. And, and and you know we're wondering why relationships, marriages, and, and children and single father man, Chloe Bailey, she's choosing. And again, they're in a whole different world, so I'm not even. And that guy seems immature as fuck anyway. But again, she chose to be a single mother, she chose it. And so men, young men, protect yourself, protect your mind, protect your wallet. Do you value yourself? Do you value yourself? I say it all the time. If you looked at a woman's life, you would see like, yo, you are really there for a certain time period. That time period could be a year, it could be five years, it could be 10 years. But if you look at that woman's life, she's probably been with multiple men. A whole fucking collage. And I don't say that to be disrespectful or negative to women. I'm saying that's just what the time period we're in. It's not worrying about Johnny across town. You're now worrying about your neighbor, you're worried about the God Coast Street, you're worried about the weed deal on the corner, you're worried about the gym train at this gym, and then you got another gym at that gym, and then you got the exes from high school, middle school, college. I mean, it is what it is. And I say these things because the sooner we, we as men, young men, older men can process these things, the sooner we can value ourselves. You can say, yo, it is cheaper to just buy it. It is cheaper to go overseas. It is cheaper to just, yo, I'm not taking you out on dates. I got $300. I know your ass is broke. So do you want me to pay your phone bill or your college bill for the week, the month? Or, and again, I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm just saying like, if you go down this road of thinking of falling in love, you are going to get yourself hurt, man. Love, but don't fall in love. Enjoy the moment. Don't have desires and expectations. <laughs> just let it be shown what it's going to be. If they want to be everything for you, then be everything. If they just want to be temporary, then be temporary. And enjoy every moment. And when it's gone, just understand the world is filled with them. And they know that about us. They know that about us. We, we should know that, but we don't know that as much because we don't... At a young age, they're getting hit with that. As young as men, we got to work towards that. We got to work to have those options. We got to work to have those resources to be able to travel and do this and do that. It takes a lot of time. And a lot of times it sucks to see what you think everybody's living their life online. And it's like you're home jerking off your, you know, and it's like, damn, you got five dollars to your name jerking off and watching playing PlayStation. It takes time. And unfortunately, we don't have enough men really guiding young men to understand that, yo, life takes time, man. Like, if I could see myself at 18, at 18, coming home from the military, uh, from basic training in AIT, and then I was working as a security guard, and just figured out life. You don't understand? I was, I was reading. I was reading, studying for three years, trying to figure out what I was going to do from like 18 to 21, 22. And then my aunt was like, you should get your real estate license. I'm like, I want to be a realtor. I don't want to talk to people. I'm an introvert. And I've been in since 23, and I'm not going anywhere. And I'm, I'm figuring out, it, it just took time. And even now, I'm not where I want to be, but I've been, I am more clear on what I want and where I want to go for the next 10, 20, 30 years than I have ever been in my fucking life. And it took time. It took understanding. It took being by myself. It took not having as many women around. It took just patience. Understanding. It took heartbreaks. 
I am grateful for every heartbreak. I am such a stronger man now. And when I get into my next situation, I'm like, I'm just enjoying it. You can't break me. <laughs> and I know how to love and be and connect and give them that, that warmth without giving this, without giving this, without giving my heart. I know how to give them the love they need. It took time. How to detach and keep the two separate, but still give them what they need so I can get what I need. It takes time. Good luck to you fellas. I'm not here to be a love coach, a dating coach, a romance guy, a passport bro, or any of that. I'm Mr. Harris. I'm on my own fucking journey. And I wish you guys the best of luck on your own. Later.